You know, I haven't really heard the full song because every time I start up the game, I go to the options menu and I turn off the music so I can do all my audio sync up stuff. And that resets whatever the main song is playing. There's actually a part of this song that gets pretty intense this here. And I only heard it this time when I speeded up the game because I left to go do something else for a tiny bit. Uh, I wonder how much of this song there actually is to it. Anyhow, um, greetings and salutations everyone. I'm Echo Mac, this is Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. I have spent way too long sitting on my butt. Nico B is caught up to me, he's probably gonna pass me, and I'm gonna feel really upset about it if I keep watching it, which is why I've already just stopped watching. You try watering the chest to see if something will sprout, but the only thing that grows is the smell. Anyhow, um, in the last episode, we did a lot of exploration of this place. Unfortunately, Estelle is almost dead. And I don't know how safe it is to keep advancing, but also there's a lot to work through to get our way back, so, um, hmm. You never would have thought that herbivores would look so intimidating, would you? I bet she could fish here. So, in other news, um, uh, I've bought a few of the recent games that have attracted the crowd's attention. Astrobot, uh, Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom, but also uh, the big trailer for the next season of Limbus Company is coming out. I really should have been working on getting like 14 videos of this recorded. Simply so I have a backlog for when I need to record some Limbus Company and mix that into the rotation. I'm just not very good at this. My attention is just not very focused on this game. But yeah, so, Echoes of Wisdom. It's very charming and kind of fun, but I find that it, the gimmick feels like a hindrance to what we expect from Legend of Zelda games, I'm sorry to say. Like obviously we don't want Zelda to be the, to just be Link but girl. We already have Link all for that. And even then she's more of her own character due to the whole thing with cuckoos. And disaster lesbian, but eh, no point. They gave Zelda a super mode that allows her to be Link for a few moments, just in case you've got an enemy to deal with. The problem that I'm finding is that enemies kind of hard counter. It, it never feels like you've been, uh, got a really good uh, uh, enemy that can... Where am I going with this thought? Some enemies just feel like they're more tedious to fight than anything, where you have to just... Uh, keep spamming an enemy at it in order to win and finally get the recipe for that enemy, but then immediately that enemy is going to be hard countered by more enemies, forcing you to, to, uh, to deploy even more. It just feels like it's, it's stalling is what it is, it feels like the game is stalling itself out, where it's actually not that long at all, but the design of how you fight is tedious enough to force you to lock in. Mind you, everything else is great. And Zelda can actually tank a bit of damage and then regenerate herself using beds. That's nice. I like games where you can sort of do the... where your HP can be recovered easily. Um, Astrobot I haven't had a chance to tackle. It's a, If I've had any breaks it's been Echoes of Legend Wisdom. And if I have any breaks, be that is, if I have any breaks from gacha games, because I think at the moment I have way too many and I need to cut from at least one of them, because we've got Limbus Company, 
But then I've got also I've got Figure Adventure, which is probably where I need to cut because I've got a bit of a sunk cost fallacy with spending in that game. I don't like it. Um, Goddess of Victory Nikkei is another thing. Where, yeah, I'm backtracking so I can find. What am I supposed to be doing anyway? Wolf Fort. Oh dear, um, I think it's time that I go to the chest guide. Oh yeah, we've definitely missed a chest somewhere around here. Fortunately, that's why I have a second guide specifically for chests here. So let's see, um... I'll make the executive... I'll make the thought that... Oh, hang on. I'll assume that it's uh, to the Elmo Hot Spring, so let's just track over there and see what we can get. Here, Goddess of Nikki, I haven't spent any money on, but I am spending quite a bit of time because I've actually made quite a few victories there. In fact, I think that uh, before I finish off with my recordings for the morning, I'm going to go record something there because uh, the fight itself, I don't have anything to be informative about, but it does have some rather impressive music and visuals, which is worth me showing. And then, what's the fourth one? Oh yeah, AFK Journey. I think that if I'm going to cut from any of them, it's probably going to be that one, because while I'm very high ranked at the moment, I'm at the top of the smaller roads and raids and all that, I find it very frustrating. They're actually kind of trying to keep... Okay, so I have gone that chest. They're actually trying to keep whales from getting out of control. But the way that they did that was to make everything stupidly expensive. And... It feels an awful lot like it, they really want you to spend that money to get those little extra power boosts for how often you get hit in the face with a brick wall. Oh, but sorry, you're just not strong enough for this. I do have a theory on how to handle the latest uh, big... Uh, server raid though, I saw an interesting post on Reddit, and I'm going to try it out. Uh, let's see, where else, where else? I think that's about it, so... I guess that means we can talk about my actual favorite gacha, Limbus Company. Um, they've shown what the next season Ego are, and what the starting identities will be. I find it very interesting that they're using generic classes for that. Because, uh, what's happening is, it, the first two identities are going to be Sway West Sinclair, which is rather unusual because he already has his way south, but I guess those are two, considered two different mirror worlds and Sync Association Mersault. Honestly, it only just occurred to me literally three seconds ago, but Sync Association Mersault might be huge for him because it might be his first ID with an evade. Like, go check. Everything he has is guard or counter. Mersault and Rodian, at the moment, have no evade identities with an evade, and evade is the best stat. Evade is the best defense skill, so the fact that he they're missing out on it has been kind of unfortunate. If he gets this, then ooh, who knows where it'll end? Maybe it'll end with this stupid thing. Why is he still here? Oh yeah, those look like fun. 
Oh, we all remember this spot, right? Sheep farming. Here we go, chest. Found the Tira Balm. Unable to see the bottom of this ostensibly empty chest, you drop a pebble into it. You don't hear it hit the bottom. Probably best to leave. <laughs> oh, some, ex some existential horror there. Oh yeah, um... It's kind of unfortunate that even the devs have given up on ever making Zwei South in Sinclair. Actually, how's the... How are the devs going to be able to, uh... How are we going to differentiate between the two different versions of Sinclair, huh? And what will the... Aside from being actually decent, I have to wonder what the what the West version of Sinclair is going to be like versus the South. What differences will he have? Because if it's just an upgraded version, then that's kind of lame. I don't know, but... The main point of interest is probably going to be the Ego. And, well, the Ego are also really weird because they've added, um... They've added Hexnail, and Hexnail has been in... So the thing with Hexnail is that until now it's been a forced exclusive Ego. It's been in the game since about launch, but it was very clearly forced exclusive. And that's no longer the case because we're giving it to Rodian and Sinclair. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Rodian's looks pretty cool because it has her pulling a sort of puppet master thing with a tiny little hurting teddy. But of course, that also probably means that it's going to be spun around. Ay 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 ay, no no, we are going to bait you into the ground, buddy. But yeah, um, it probably means that when she corrodes, she's going to be the one on the puppet strings. Oh, yikes. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Dark matter, that's what I should have been using. Is he gonna run? Is he gonna run? Uh-oh. Maybe I didn't think this part over well enough. But yeah, um, Sinclair also has it. Unfortunately, you can't really identify anything just from watching the animations. Except what the Higo comes from and how stylish they make the character look. Forced herself and Hong Lu are getting uh, Rose Hunter. He gives them a very schnazzy hat and an outfit, and to me it makes Hong Lu look like Robin Hood. That's hilarious to me. Robin Hong Lu. It gives them a horse, so... We're going back to the old, how do you subtract horse? Or how do you gain more horse than you already had? That's gonna be fun. And of course, then there's the big banner ego. 
One goes to Marisol. We didn't actually see an animation for that. Oh well. But the other... Like, um, we didn't see an animation, but it definitely gives him a nice vampire look. Ow! Uh, one of his eyes is covered up by a bloody rope, is covered up by rose, which looks extremely painful. Cannot deny that it looks extraordinarily painful. Oh yeah, I see. We need to intercept that turn if we don't want them to steal all our money. Oh, I should have given it to Shira. Darn it. Oh, you know what else I should have done? I should have visited the Orbal Factory while I had the chance. Darn it. Oh yeah, um, he has a very Nosferatu vibe to him, and the way that the flower covers up the rose covers up one eye is very reminiscent of our Blood Fiend's work, with the whole, um... With how they usually have one half of their body covered by blood veins or whatever that black and red stuff is. But of course then there's the coup de grace which is showing off Don Quixote's animation. They show off the whole thing, not half of the thing like the others do. She basically fuses a glance out of blood, stabs it into the ground, and then rose thorns have burst out of the ground through all the people, and a few roses bloom. The name of the ego is not Carmilla though, the ego gift is Carmilla. Instead, the name of the ego I think is uh, Morena Yearning or Yearning Morena? I don't know, but it's the name, it's the real name of Carmilla. Or maybe it's the secret identity name of Carmilla? I have not read that book, so I would not know. Man, Firefly Fungus is everywhere now! And also, I probably should have made sure that Discord was muted, my bad. I'm in charge of the column for the of the culture column for the liberal news. No matter how many times I come, I always fall in love with this village's eastern style design. I've done an article about the Hindi before. This time I want to write up a piece about the cuisine. Can we rest here? Oh, welcome. Long time no see, Mrs. Mal. Ah, Estelle, it has been a while. You seem a lot more grown up since we last met. Uh, really? Madam, thank you for your care the other day. Oh, I thought I knew you. If it isn't Olivia, what brings you back, dear? I have my reasons. Currently I am accompanying Estelle as a supporter. Do you two know each other? Yes dear, he stayed here not that long ago. He's the first customer we've ever had that played a lute in the baths. <laughs> uh, yep, that sounds like Olivia. I guess you do the same thing everywhere. Tis the sacred duty of all those who are dedicated to the arts. Time and location mean nothing to one who serves the goddess of beauty. Yeah, about playing the lute and the buff. And now the image is in my head. Ew. Well, one way or another, glad you liked our baths. How about staying for a while? I think we'd all love to, but unfortunately we're in the middle of work. We'll have to soak our little later down on down the line. What, on the job again? Don't you braces ever take a job or a day off? Hmm. Well, at least take a tick quick dip before you go. You're all welcome to go in any time. That sounds really nice. If we get some time, we'll definitely take you up on that. 
Yes, I want to rest so I can restore all of my EP. We desperately need that. And of course, um, to round out the promotional video, Don Quixote is going to be a Battle Pass announcer to the surprise of no one because they've been doing that all the time. They've been giving us Battle Pass announcers for all of the uh, seasonal focuses. Mountain Man Stew. Passion Omelette. Flower Milkshake. I guess this is sort of fruity milk. And the Ambrosial Egg. I've come all the way from Bose to visit the baths. These springs are worth it though, best in the country I tell ya. Welcome, welcome to Maple Leaf Inn. We're famous for our Eastern style cooking here. Please try and enjoy some yes. Please try some and enjoy yourselves. So yeah, Don Quixote is going to be a paid battle pass announcer. Well, actually we don't know whether she's paid or not. We just know that she will be on the battle pass. Um, there's also going to be two other battle pass announcers. Where am I? I want to catch the kids and then I'll leave. Races are fine, but the special forces are cool too. I love playing the villain. I read about the martial arts competition in Liberal News. It said a brace team won. Braces are really that strong, huh? Or really are strong. But yeah, so one of them is probably going to be based on someone that we meet along the way. But I think another one is specifically said to be out of uh, the standard payment, and if you want them, then you have to pay extra money for them. I don't usually go for the announcers because I never use them. I find them to be slightly uh, distracting. I just use Dante on everything because the ticking sounds are very easy to tune out. Okay. I did not see you. You blend in quite well. But yeah, um, because the Dante clock noises are actually very easy to ignore. But they're there, and I'm glad that there's some way that Project Moon can get extra money for vanity purposes. Aesthetics. Acoustics. Whatever you want to refer to the announcers as. But yeah, like usual, I'm probably going to just throw everything into recording as fast as possible and then release them piecemeal over time. Man, last time I... I think the last batch of uh, Limbus Company episodes that I made was actually during this big burst of uh, Trails in the Sky episodes, so we're still going on Trails in the Sky. This is not a small series. Maybe I wouldn't feel so pressured if I hadn't ignored it for so long. Found insulating tape. I knew you'd come back to me someday! Look, look! This is Chess Jr! Ah, Chess Jr! Oh. Oh dear. So there's definitely another chest that we've missed. Unfortunately, none of these guides are giving me what I want, which is a list of, um... It doesn't tell you how many that you've... Uh... It doesn't tell me how many chests I should have by this point, it just gives me locations. So somewhere around the oh, the middle of nowhere, apparently. Oh. 
Oh, wait, there's a chest ambush also to take care of. Okay, this one we grabbed. I'm surprised the game gave that one to me. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay, here we go. Here's uh, here's one of the chests that we're missing. This one isn't aggressive though, so we should be fine. River Snail. I once heard on the playground that if you check a certain chest enough, it'll give you all the items and as much little mirror as you can hold. Oh, you cunning underhand things, you. Too many snakes! Should look into giving Chloe her nut and AoE again. Hmm. I think the sheep is the most likely to survive because it's not weak to wind, everything else is slightly weak to wind. Oh dear. I'll just spam air strike until he's gone. Take that. Yeah, we've actually got a lot of cool stuff. Um, where's the Okay. Wait, no, that's not Ah, the ambush is actually tied to something else. We already did that ambush, so all I have to do is figure out where this one is. I don't think it's on this map. I don't like that giant snake. I think you know. 
I knew I had some sort of train of thought to finish. It has actually been quite some time since I've had an episode like this. Black, Black Witchcraft has been backburnered for so long, and the way I would fill in specific episodes where the not much was happening on the, the screen itself, I would come up with a topic to talk about. The thing is, I just haven't had any topics that I feel overly invested in talking about. Wow, you're still going. We're good to go. Although I imagine being that low in health, I probably would run away too. Okay, so the chest isn't here, which means that it has to be on this map. Down there. Okay, let's do it. They resist wind, but it's also our best AoE. I do remember where I was, where I last stopped playing through Black Witchcraft though, it was because I had gotten to that final um, dimensional rift gauntlet and I just didn't have any thoughts on the ways to make it interesting. Maybe it's this screen where it shows up. We need to finish the episode soon. Uh, yeah, it, it's gotta be down there. Why did that snake let me sneak up on it? That's very not like snakes. Zerum powder, there we go. You have activated the staring contest. And I believe... Uh... Okay, there should be one more chest then. Yeah, I recognize all of these other quest ch these uh, chest quotes, so all we have to do is keep our eyes peeled for a chest hiding behind another tree. Here it is! Found the softening balm. You've already looted this chest. You might have forgotten, but don't think you can just come waltzing back and apologize! Such a difference to the one that was very proud to show off Chest Jr. Anyway, um, until next time guys, take care. I'll see you all around, we'll find out what's waiting for us in Wolf Fort next time. 
I completely butchered that outro. I don't care. <laughs>